contentious and long, a lengthy meeting that saw roughly 80 or so people speak during public comment alone. What's clear, this community remains divided on how the district is teaching diversity, equity, and inclusion. With signs held high, a group of protesters brought together by the Oakland County Republican Party made it clear that they don't appreciate the controversial approach to teaching equity in Farmington Hills. At some point, we have to say enough is enough and let's stop the indoctrination and let kids actually learn the things they're meant to learn. Specifically, a 21-day challenge which the district posted online. One such challenge surrounded the Black Lives Matter protest as a method of education. I believe the intent of the challenge was equality, but I think it did exactly the opposite. The topic spilled into the Board of Education meeting as well when the committee dedicated to equity gave their findings. And I hope that as we continue this work, that remains the priority, that all children, all children are receiving a quality education. And it continued during public comment. Especially the Farmington Hills and Farmington parents and West Bloomfield parents want to be heard. They want a seat at the table, not just constantly excluded for one political side or another. Schools are places of learning, and I can think of no more appropriate place to teach critical thinking. We need to stop looking at people based on the color of their skin, but the color of their soul. I want to tell you as a black man in America, every day is a challenge for me. As for where the board stands on the issue, both the superintendent and board president are united. It never was intended to stand alone because absent the context and the dialogue, individual pieces could be misinterpreted. The Board of Education wants to promote adult behaviors that support a culture of equity and innovation because FPS has a vision for high achievement for all of its students. And despite the protests today and a vocal opposition, the school board says they remain committed to this program and have no plans to change in the future. Reporting live in Farmington Hills, Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News. Well, Dave, a pretty packed house tonight. What prompted this method of teaching equity? Yeah, this started back in the spring. It's kind of been a nationwide movement, but here in Farmington Hills, they had an equity audit and they figured this was the best way to address it. They say that came after a student-led BLM demonstration as well. So all of the, that factoring into it, and they said that they know that this is kind of uh, the cutting edge uh, in terms of how it, things are being taught in Oakland County. They don't mind it. They like being there and they plan to stay there.